can smell that funky, funky fish aroma. <laughs> wow. The Luca is no reaction. Take a look. Very brown. And oh, oh, hmm, oh, oh. Mm. Hi, Tomodachis. Hello, this is Makoto. And this is Eric. This is Luca. Yes, and today we are bringing you another Malaysian fried rice. Oh, nice. Yes, and this one is called Nasi Goreng Ikan Asin. Oh, typical. <laughs> Very, I'm sorry if I butchered the words, but. I think that's what it's called and how it's pronounced. I, I just make mm. sure only nasi goreng. <laughs> the other one. So nasi goreng is fried rice. Okay, and okay. Ikanasin. Yes. Ikanasin. Okay. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more cooking videos like this, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on with it. Let's cooking. So we are inspired by Shirsen's recipe. Ah. And a lot of tomodachis actually came forward and told us, oh, you should try it with salted fish. Salted yes. fish. Yes. As you can see here, look at all of those comments asking oh, us to try oh, oh, oh. it. Mm. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, we're gonna take your advice and try cooking this fried rice with some salted fish. Oh. So let's start preparing our mise en place for our rice today. All right, let's prepare. I'll have to peel the shallots. Yes, and I will prepare our cucumbers for presentation later. Mm. So it's very easy. We're just gonna slice these, maybe diagonally like this, and make some pretty shapes, I don't know. Okay, just whatever you feel like. Shalson's recipe is interesting, right? He's a nice chef. Yes, definitely. And uh, he actually explains quite easily, even though we were watching one of uh, his videos. I think so, yeah. He explains everything really well. Mm. And uh, as usual, to prepare our shallots for chopping, we just want to take the ends off mm. and the tails off. Let's slice up some garlic to make our chips. We just want to slice them thinly like this, so that we can fry them evenly. Tomato is just cut into half. Yes. So I just sharpened the knife so it should cut quite easily today. Mm. Garnish is always easy to cut. Now that we have everything in place, we can begin cooking. Okay, let's fire. Yes. So the first thing we want to do is make our garlic chips. So we're going to use quite a, quite a bit of oil here. Okay, and we want to gently fry our garlic chips. So let's put them into the still cool oil. So let's pull these garlic chips out. I think this is a nice color. Take a look guys, golden garlic. We're gonna use that to fry our salted fish. Blakem, oh. salted fish. So we're just gonna put the whole filet in. And we just wanna deep fry that until it's a nice sort of golden brown color. Ah, I can smell that funky, funky fish aroma. <laughs> wow. I think normal Japanese people will find this quite an intense smell, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, the Luca is no reaction. Because Luca only likes chicken. Ah. Uh, but normally, kept like fish. fish, right? But since Luca was little, he only eats chicken. Uh. I don't know why. It, it really feels like we're transported into the heart of Southeast Asia with this smell. This is not Japan. Thing. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, let's prepare our sauce that we're going to fry the rice with. So, as usual, we're going to take our sambal belichan. This is palm sugar. Blue Mountain seasoning sauce. It's basically soy sauce that is fortified with a few different flavors. So, this is Healthy Boy brand, sweet, thick soy sauce. I think that is our sauce. Let's give it a stir. All right, flip. Ah, yes. Ooh. This is the color we're looking for. This sort of dark, 
caramelly brown, I think, mm. is a good description. So that other side just needs a few more moments to brown, and I think we'll be ready. We're just gonna grab that out of the pan. Take a look. Very brown. And pop it onto Whoa. our plate. So we're just gonna pull out the bones that we can see. Usually they're around the center. So we finally prepared all of our ingredients. Mm. And uh, we've, you know, crumbled up the fish, we've made our sauce, we've got all of the ingredients we need all ready to go. It's right. Yes, fried rice time. So, shallot in. Yes, our garlic. So I know in places like Italy, they also use anchovies for umami, right? Mm. So actually around the world, they use sort of, you know, fermented or salted fish to add flavor to foods. So vanilla powder is one of my favorite. Ah, oh, vanilla powder is really good too. For those of you that don't know, it's like this thick uh, sauce, right? Mm -hmm. That they make with anchovies that you eat. It's kind of like you eat it like fondue. Uh, yes. yes. So in goes our day-old rice. There you go, our sauce. Humble day Yes. And in with our dried, I mean, salted fish. We're going to add our scallions as our garnish. Yes! There you have it! Our completed salted fish fried rice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little bit of egg to go on top. We're not going to add it into this fried rice. What we want to do is we're going to take our bowl, make sure there's a little bit of water in it so the rice doesn't stick. We're going to take our fried rice. All right. Ooh. Okay, check it out. It's in our bowl. And now let's prepare our eggs. Just a bit. Crack that fella into the pan. Yes, and we want sort of crispy edges, because crispy edges are always nice for these kinds of dishes. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Maybe slightly off-center. Let's put it up here. So have our rice in the corner like this. Pray that it comes out good. Come on, lucky rice. And, whoa. Nice. And what we want to do, we want to top it with our fried egg, which has gone a little bit crispy around the edges. Ah, yeah. That's the spirit. Ta-da! Here is our completed nasi goreng ikan asin. Oh, and uh, wow. It looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Okay, let's taste this. All right, let's try it. Oh, yeah, I think it's good. No, 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 no. Luca. Uh, yes, right. Wow, here. okay. Come, be careful. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yes, wow. perfect. Hmm. So that's what it looks like. Still steaming hot, as you can see. I think it smells different. Yes. Also. Okay, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Actually, I really oh. like this flavor. Hmm. Oh wow. That's really nice. Mm. <laughs> like I can just taste the fish umami. Hmm. It, oh. It's left this sort of rounded gentle flavor mm. in the rice and you mm. don't get any of that fishiness at all mm. wow this is wonderful mm. wow oh salted fish very good actually mm. the proteins in the fish i think from the salting process it, it becomes very smooth right mm. so it's not flaky like a fresh fillet of fish would be it's more like a pate almost texture mm. Mm. and we started with i think the recipe that we got the most comments from our tomodashis from, mm. which is the salted fish, salted mm. fish. So mm -hmm. we definitely wanted to try that and wow. wow. <laughs> We're so, so glad we did. So we got that why tomodachi said that yes. salted fish, tried salted fish. I'm so jealous for everyone that lives in Malaysia. They can just go out no. and get this every day if they wanted to. <laughs> this is very surprising. 
This is so good. Mm. I'm very glad we tried this. So thank you, Tomodachi's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I think with guava juice. Maybe yeah. Good. So we picked up some guava juice because this is another favorite from my childhood. Ah, okay. It's good though. Oh, I feel like I'm in a street store. <laughs> If you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them below. And as usual, give us a like, subscribe if you want to see more cooking, and we'll see you next time. Okay, see ya. Bye bye. It's so good. I can't. It's yeah. just.